let's get to our underdogs of week one. And we'll just, for time purposes here, we're going to kind of roll through these. But you got Maryland plus three and a half at West Virginia. Mm. Man, in year two, in year two up there, I think, what is it? What is this? Year two, year three, Josh. For uh, for Mar- Loxley? Yeah, for Loxley. I want to say this is three. Don't fact check me, but I want to say this is year three. Yeah, um, year three. He's you know, got it rolling too. baby Tagovailoa action. I love it. I dig it. The state right above me, obviously, being a Washington fan, all of my friends are Maryland Terps. Um, I like that a lot. Like you said, you know, baby Tagovailoa, West Virginia, they're one of those schools you just never really know what you're going to get. Like, obviously, a good defensive group. But three and a half, I feel like that's really good. Maryland, yeah. they, they usually start strong and they usually fall off second half part of the season. They were a good defensive group. They lost their best defender, mm. Tyke Smith, to Georgia uh, in the transfer portal. Um, but, yeah, I like that one a lot. Kent, so, Donovan, you go Kent State plus 30 at Texas A&M. So, you're saying the Aggies may be overhyped early on, no? Huh? I, I'm, I'm buying in right now into the fact that Texas A&M is a little overrated. Right now, those words may come back to haunt me later in the season. But Kent State's got a legit NFL talent at quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. They return their entire offensive line. They are loaded with different various power five recruits on the back end of defense and in running backs, but they return all three running backs. Kent State is a team that from firsthand knowledge, that offense, it's not all about the talent. It's that system is a nightmare. It is a nightmare to try and prep and defend against. That's a lot of points, too. Yeah, a lot of points. 30, 30 is, uh, you know, even even the most heartless coaches call off the dogs at some point. And that's some action right there that Donovan's bringing. Also, the, uh, with his next one, Ohio University plus two at Syracuse. It may just be the fact that you put this on here because Syracuse has been the sad sack of the ACC for the last, like, couple of seasons, it seems like. Just not really they, – they look like they were – kind of rounded into form a couple of years ago, and then it's kind of fell off the rails here. So you're thinking Ohio U has a, has a chance to stay keep close in that one. Yeah, Syracuse was just awful. I mean, uh, there's no there's no better way to put it. They're they're not very good. And OU tends to they have a common theme of week one, week two playing some lower tier power five opponents, and whether or not they win consistently, they don't. Uh, you know, it's about even split sometimes when they win, but they always compete and make it a close game with those teams. Whoever this dude Chris Woods is saying roll tide, Josh. <laughs> let's go. We, we don't need that. We don't need that that mess in here. So now let's go to the the, the top three overs. We're just gonna hit these real quick, guys, because 